Hey guys, welcome back to Warren Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have any of the following three cars, I'm talking about uh, Dodge Ram Pro Master City guys, Fiat 500X or Fiat Tour guys, and you have engine light on and code p0171 stay with us we will explain guys the top reasons that cause that code this code is one of the hardest codes guys to diagnose okay and we will explain why as we go as you can see this is the 2.4 multi air engine it can be found in any of those three cars guys but even if you have a different engine the procedure will be very similar as well guys now why we have the engine out because we guys made about 100 videos okay how to rebuild how to replace almost anything on that engine and uh, we decided to do that when we did an engine replacement so with the engine out we can show you everything with a great detail number two guys we actually are in the process of making about 100 videos for engine codes diagnostics and common problems so quite helpful information will be uploaded on the channel why we do all that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video now many of you guys constantly constantly ask me where do you get all the tools and parts from guys so we're going to share the links in the description of the video below and you can see more about the computer the scanner that we are using as well guys all that will be shared there usually you will have a black okay upper engine cover in our case guys we painted it blue to be a little bit different it looks great that way in my opinion and we will have a video coming soon how to paint upper engine cover as well now i will go ahead and pull that thing out it just attaches to the engine at four different posts one here two three and four guys now let's start okay with what the code 171 means okay and uh, how to fix that code guys now number one that code means that your uh, uh, your mixture is actually lean the fuel and air mixture is lean what that means it means that your car is getting less fuel okay or it is getting more air but the same amount of fuel which means that in your exhaust system guys when the upstream oxygen sensor reads the exhaust gas it's going to tell okay we have more air than we should or we don't have enough fuel okay as we should so in both cases that's lean mixture guys now let's go ahead and cover okay what causes usually lean mixture and how to fix that this is a really hard thing to fix guys and we're going to explain that as we go number one guys okay fuel pressure regulator if you have a fuel pressure regulator okay that's actually guys uh, not working correctly it's not giving enough pressure what will happen your fuel injectors which are on the back sides okay let me disconnect here i have everything pretty loosened so i can show you guys your fuel injectors right here guys will not be spraying enough fuel as a result your engine will not be getting enough fuel and that will end up in a uh, lean mixture number two guys that could be the same reason if you have weak fuel pump weak fuel pump that's not turning fast enough not building enough pressure especially at higher rpms that can happen as well number three okay it's a bad fuel filter the bad fuel filter fuel pump and the regulator everything most of the times it's in one package in the fuel tank so uh, all that okay in order to get to one you have to remove the whole assembly to actually guys uh, inspect it but it could be a bad fuel filter as well now we have the fuel filter replacement on a dodge dart okay if you want to see that we have it on the channel and it explains everything about that it will be almost the same for your vehicle as well guys now uh, what else can can cause that okay vacuum leak guys what is a vacuum leak now some uh, some of the vehicles will have mass airflow sensor some do not some just rely on the map, map sensor which is the manifold absolute pressure sensor but uh, let me put that thing back on okay i want to show you something now if you have a MAF sensor guys okay MAF sensor will be attached to the air filter box it detects how much air your engine is getting if you don't have a MAP sensor your engine is actually using the MAP sensor which is on the uh, intake manifold side and the intake temperature sensor okay to calculate how much air it's getting but if you guys have a vacuum leak okay vacuum leak is some extra air the engine gets but it doesn't know about that air because it didn't calculate it in the equation okay that's vacuum leak it could be a loose hose clamp leaking gasket for the total body cracked intake manifold it could be guys also it could be uh, even okay let me leave that thing uh, fuel injector seal that's leaking and intake manifold gasket that's leaking that's very common as well another thing guys okay it could be even a bad 
uh, map sensor or a bad map sensor if you have one on the air filter box so that's uh, that's very common as well guys now what else can cause that it, it's very very common guys to see dirty fuel injectors that not spray enough fuel if you have dirty fuel injectors that do not spray enough fuel that will actually result guys into that code as well and you have four fuel injectors we have a video how to remove and replace those all those things on the on the engine guys so please check it out now uh, very common okay very common problem that we see as well is a bad mass airflow sensor for any of you that have the MAF sensor or a bad MAP sensor we talked that about that and the other thing is upstream oxygen sensor this is the oxygen sensor before the catalytic converter and we have a video on the channel that explains how to remove and replace it uh, probably how we'll start guys by testing the upstream oxygen sensor we have a video on the channel how to do that then check fuel pressure fuel pressure guys uh, clean the MAF sensor or the MAP sensor check them make sure you don't have a vacuum leak and then go to the fuel pump and fuel injectors hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time